and action. If you're on a quest for great sound and functionality in a small package, you may be interested in the Jabra 65T Bluetooth earbuds. Hey everyone, I'm Sean and you're watching Rectum. If you're new here, I do reviews on everything from current events to electronics. So go ahead and take a moment to click the subscribe button and if you would like notifications whenever I post new content, please click the bell icon. So these are called True Wireless Earbuds. For those of you new to the wireless earbud scene, wireless earbuds connect to your device, MP3 player, phone, or computer wirelessly using uh, Bluetooth technology, and there is a wire between the left and right earbuds. True wireless is the same as wireless, except for the right and left earbuds are not connected by a wire. They connect to each other and your device all wirelessly. So let's get on with my review of the Jabra Elite 65T Bluetooth earbuds. Here, hiding in this small case is a pair of earbuds that connect to your phone or digital audio player, also known as an MP3 player by Bluetooth technology. These earbuds not only allow you to listen to music, they also take phone calls. You can hear the conversation in both ears and sync with Alexa, Siri, or Google Assistant. Four, number four, microphone technology effectively blocks out wind noise while on phone calls. The six millimeter driver and passive noise reduction blocks out ambient sound. If you want to hear ambient sound, the hear through technology allows you to hear ambient sounds by turning on the four microphones and sending that sound to your ears through the speaker. This technology is great for hearing your surroundings while on a bike ride or a walk or just doing things around the house or yard and you don't want to feel isolated or claustrophobic without hearing any of the, the background. Uh, and it makes a big, big difference. I'm going to talk to you more on passive noise reduction in my final thoughts. I really like passive noise reduction and one of the things I'm going to tell you right now before my final thoughts is it doesn't consume any battery power. The Jabra Elite 65T comes in three different sets, comes with three different size sets of ear gels so you can get the perfect fit and in my experience you should or can mix and match sizes. In other words you may prefer the fit of a medium ear gel in your right ear and a small ear gel in your left ear and this applies to all earbuds whenever you're trying stuff mix and match your sets you'll find what you like the most. I will show you the app on the bench when I do the close-up, but suffice it, suffice it to say, the app is amazing. As a matter of fact, there is no time like the present to turn around the camera and do a close-up of the Jabra 65T, the Elite, before I make the actual camera turn around. I must say, I didn't shoot any B-roll footage. So the close-up is after a month of use and the cleaning. They're not perfectly spotless, fresh out of the box. That's what I'm kind of trying to say to you right now. So let's, let's turn the camera, let's just go, let's do this. See you in a moment. So a lot of folks get really worked up and excited about the box. So here you go, this is the Jabra Elite 65T box. Uh, pretty cool, looks like a box. Uh, has some information, some more Useful information in the back, lots of great features. Uh, box is a uh, box, so it's a, little, it's a little scratched up. Anyway, you are here for the actual Jabra Elite 65T. And here's the case. It's pretty exciting. It feels a little bit like a, uh, a fidget spinner, kind of like a, uh, a worn bar of soap. So um, I like the way it feels. Uh, a lot of people have complained that you can't stand it up. No matter how hard they try, they cannot, I don't know why you want to stand it up, but they complain about this lack of being able to stand it up. There is the genius mode activated. Uh, my complaint about the case so far is that it does not hold the earbuds in with a magnet, so they are, they will fall right out. And the charge indicator is on the bottom rather than on the front. So. It doesn't tell you anything about your charge. You can't see it. Uh, and some people have complained about the micro USB connection. Um, I'm the guy who doesn't care. It's micro USBs are all over the place. Newer models and a lot of things are coming out with USB-C, which is also nice. But I have always connected to a power brick at home, a micro USB and a USB-C. So it's easy enough for me to plug stuff in. So anyway, the earbuds fit in just like this. I drop in and this case is also a charger 
So it charges the earbuds, and they all do this. This isn't anything unique to Jabra. Um, it will give you two more charges. So you get a total of about 15 hours of, of playtime with the case and the earbuds, a fully charged pair of earbuds. It takes a couple of hours to charge, and I forgot it's like... A 15-minute charge gives you an hour of listening, somewhere around there. Um, we'll do some tech specs in just a moment. But that's what they look like, and they're pretty neat. And uh, the case is nice and secure. And it's actually small enough that it fits in the fifth pocket or the watch pocket of a pair of jeans or just about anywhere on tactical pants you should have a pocket. Um, I'll just talk about a little bit about the earbuds themselves and how... Uh, how they feel. They're fit and finish. This is the right, and they're labeled right and left. This is the right, and of course, and this one is the left. And the way it sits in the ear, I'll show you that. You'll see them. I'll wear them on my final thoughts. This is like a little microphone protruding to pick up your voice and your phone calls. Uh, I'm not doing a, uh, a sound check because they always sound really, really weird. I've heard great earphones sound super tinny on sound checks, and um, I don't know how to do it and how they're doing it, but whenever somebody talks to me and I'm using these, they, they say they sound just fine. Um, I sound like I'm on my phone. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, there they are. And let's take a peek at the app that drives these things. So here we are. We're connected. Here are my earbuds, my IEMs, and here is the my moments part of this. This is really neat. I can turn on and off my hear through. Uh, it can also turn uh, turn on and off the hear through by the buttons on the on the uh, on the earbuds. This one is the left and it has a up and down uh, either these actually have a side so you can turn up and down your volume. It's really really neat stuff. Uh, you can also turn volume up and down on here. And another thing about these is I'll mention later on is they allow you to connect to two devices at once. So if I'm listening to my my mp3 player I can also control the sound and the equalizer through of these through here. So it's pretty neat. I can take calls while I'm listening as well. Uh, then you go over here and you get this here through um, equalizer settings, default, bass boost, whatever I want here. And over here, this is really neat, uh, soundscapes. So I can click on this and listen to all these different sounds as a background for like in the office. And here through technology works while I'm listening to the sounds, but it allows a little relaxing waterfall or diving sound. Um, ventilation, fan, white noise, pink noise, ocean waves, rainy days, songbirds. Perfect Storm is clicked because Perfect Storm is the one I really like. In the cavern, it sounds like you're in a great big cavern with some drips. And the crowd sounds like you're um, like at a sporting event or something. So the soundscape is really, really cool. Uh, anyway, this is the app. The app's pretty simple. Uh, allows you to do a number of things. The equalizer is great. I can customize and make it where I want it. Um, boost, boost my bass, boost my mids, boost my treble. Um, and it also has the presets. Here's your presets. And here is like the kind of the driving mode, I think. So you get sound modes here through technology. Uh, that's really, really useful. And uh, that's about it. That's in short the app. The app works great. Uh, you can update your earbuds through the app. And then you put them in the case and it will flash this little purple light until the update is complete. A pretty neat, essentially uh, simple app. And that's all I can tell you about the app. I'll talk to you later. We'll get the app out of here. So there it is. Here's your, the Jabra. Um, not much more to say. Uh, we did the app, did the case. Case clicks. My biggest complaint, and actually my only complaints are the charging indicator is on the bottom not much of a complaint there and um, they don't they're not held in by magnets they're held in just they're just held in there's nothing holding them in actually otherwise uh, these are so fantastic these are well worth it I'm gonna put the um, link below for you to buy a pair of these anyway we'll do my final thoughts and I'll see you in just a moment thank you for being here um, Hold, hold tight.
All right, for my final thoughts, I have to tell you, I love them. They're in my ears right now. They have the hear through technology on, so I can hear my voice while I'm talking. I'm not playing any music through them right now, but I just wanted you to know the, uh, the first, the uh, hear through technology works great and passive noise reduction. Let's talk about that. So passive noise reduction is pretty simple. It's just earmuffs or earplugs. That's passive. There's no power required. And a couple benefits are they can tune out now just about everything, um, over 30 decibels in many instances. Um, and they put tiny speakers in here so you can hear your music and you can tune out the outside sound. Now what a uh, active noise cancellation does is it will take a sound wave that's coming in, say the sound wave looks like this, and it will match it with an exact opposite. It would go like this. And you'll get both sound waves hitting your ear, but they're exactly flipped over and they cancel each other out. You don't hear anything. So it consumes battery power and it doesn't work on abrupt sounds. It doesn't work if you're at a shooting range where you hear loud popping. Uh, active noise cancellation doesn't do anything for you there. It only works um, low sounds, jets, stuff like that. Passive works for a shooting range, a loud work environments, abrupt sudden loud sounds and jet airplanes and all of those noisy environments and passive i think is the way to go i have always been a big fan of music my house since i can remember has always had a big system with rack mounted components separate cd player tuner amplifier and of course a turntable for your vinyl but there are times when you need discreet private listening and then you want a pair of great iems like the shosy five balanced armature pair of earbuds and I'm going to put a link below for some really good wired in-ear monitors. Uh, there are other times when you need wireless for working around the house, yard, uh, hands-free calling and so on and I think the Jabra cannot be beat. They have also a little trick up their sleeve to device connectivity. Uh, not many people do this or not many manufacturers do this in other words, they allow my earbuds to be connected to my phone and my MP3 player simultaneously. So what happens is I like the, uh, the sound out of an MP3 player, out of the real deal, uh, big file sizes, great amplifiers, and so on. And I like to listen and take a phone call. So I can have my MP3 player on, put it in my back pocket, do my things around the yard or the house. When a phone call comes through, it will tell me, in my, the, in my in the Jabras, they will tell me, you got a phone call. And I can click, answer the call, have the conversation. When they hang up, or when I hang up with another click, it goes to, um, right back to my MP3 player, and continue, continues where I left off. It's great. Two devices. It's really, really cool. Um, I won't discard anything that doesn't connect to two devices, but the convenience, especially if you're one who listens to uh, an MP3 player and has your phone ready, it can't be beat. It's just great. So in, in short, in closing, I'm going to thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching this video. I know it was a long one, but it was a good one. I think it was a good one. I'll give you a lot of information on these Jabra Elite 65 Ts. And of course, links below to buy them and buy other things if you like. And as a disclaimer, Whenever you buy something, since I'm an affiliate with Amazon, I get a portion. You don't pay any extra. I get a portion. So if you shop through me, I get a little, a little pennies. It helps with, uh, I don't know, maybe the electricity and charging my batteries. It's not a huge deal. So anyway, thank you for joining me. These are the Jabra Elite 65 Ts. Look at that in my ear. Looking pretty fantastic. Super comfortable. Thanks for watching. I'm Sean. You've tuned into Rectum. Bye-bye. See you later.